everybody. This is Diana from So Very Crafty and we are here today to make this terrific little bolster pillow cover. And it will cover a standard neck roll pillow of 14 inches by 5 inches that you can get at any uh, fabric store. If you want to make one that's bigger than this, you can just adjust the measurements. But this is a very, very simple beginner neck roll pillow cover. And I have uh, added a little bit of piping to this, but don't be intimidated by it because it's very simple to do. Um, when I did the prototype of this project, I added some blue piping. I probably should have added maybe some white, something that showed up a little bit better but I do have piping on this project. And when I did the prototype, which is this one, I made these uh, end pieces a little bit bigger than I wanted to. So when we do the video, I'm gonna make them a little smaller and hopefully we will have a little bit tighter ends on this. But um, for this pillow, I used a little bit of velvet ribbon to tie the ends. And as you can see, it opens wide and your pillow form just fits right in. And that's the pillow form. So all you need for this project is a pillow form like this, which is a neck roll or a bolster pillow form, and your little pillowcase that we're gonna learn how to make today. So how do we go about making this pillow? Well, first of all, before we get involved in this, I hope you enjoy this project today. And if you do, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Share this video with anybody that would like to make their own bolster pillow. And uh, if you want more sewing and crafting tutorials, head over to the website at www.soverycrafty.com for loads and loads and loads of more uh, sewing tutorials and crafting tutorials that you won't see here on the website. So now let's get started on how to make this bolster pillow cover. The first thing you're going to need is a main piece of fabric. And I've chosen this blue Kona cotton. I've cut this blue Kona cotton to measure 14 and a half inches by 19 inches. And that's going to cover my bolster pillow just enough so that it fits snugly into the fabric. The next thing I did was I cut two accent fabric pieces and I've used this sort of plaid fabric for my accent piece. And I cut those pieces to measure 20 inches wide by four inches deep. And as I said in the introduction, I on the prototype, I actually made these six inches. So I'm hoping the four inches is going to work a little bit better. But I made them 20 inches wide and we'll figure out why I've made them longer uh, than the main fabric in a few minutes. I also have some piping that I made a little bit longer than the 19 inch edge. And I have two pieces of piping that measure just a little bit longer than the 19 inch edge. We're gonna end up cutting off the excess. And I have two pieces of velvet ribbon. You can use any kind of ribbon you want that are 3 8 inch wide and about 25 inches long for this project. The first thing that we're going to do in order to create our bolster pillow project today is we are going to take our accent fabric and we are going to do two things. We are going to fold in the short ends by half inch on each side and press. And I've done that for you here already. 
and that will end up making this the same length as our outer fabric of 19 inches. Then we're going to fold down about one inch on, the on one long end and fold under one quarter inch. And that's going to make the casing for our ribbon when we come to tie our bolster pillow together. And so we're gonna head over to the sewing machine and we are going to stitch up the side of our short ends first. And then we are going to stitch along the long end of our casing so that we have some place to put our ribbon. So I'm not gonna show that on the video because it's just a straight stitch on either side first because you don't wanna close that opening and then a straight stitch along the long end to create the casing for our uh, ribbon. And I'll be right back. Okay, so now we have our two pieces of accent fabric and we're just gonna set those aside. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add our piping. And this is probably the most difficult part of this project and it's not difficult at all. It seems like it would be, but it's not. Now, I'm just going to pin this piping, although if you're a more advanced sewist, you do not need to pin this piping. You can just hold it in place and it will work out just fine. but I'm just gonna put a few pins. If you're a beginner sewist, you may wanna put a lot more pins than I'm putting in here. But I'm just gonna put a few just to hold this in place. And we're gonna do this on both the long ends of our project here. I know it seems a little counterintuitive that it's the long ends, but the long ends are the ones that make the short ends on the bolster. And now we're going to go over to the sewing machine and I'm going to show you how to go ahead, go about stitching this uh, piping onto our outer fabric here. Here we are at the sewing machine and I'm going to need to do two things. Now those of you that follow So Very Crafty know that I normally keep my quarter inch foot on this, uh, on my machine, but in order to really sew on this piping, I'm going to need to use my zipper foot. And my zipper foot looks like this. So I'm going to install my zipper foot here on my machine, um, just like that. The next thing that I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to move my needle from the center position all the way over to the left. And I can just do this on my front of my machine. Now I can see that my needle is as far over to the left as I can get it to my piping. And I want to make sure that my 
little outer edge of my piping is right along the raw edge of my outer fabric. And then I'm just going to stitch along taken the pins out, but you will want to keep your pins in. Now we can see that we have our piping right along our edge of our outer fabric. And I'm just going to repeat this for the other side. Here we are back at the workstation and it's time to put our accent fabric right sides together with our outer fabric and our piping so that it ends up looking like this and our piping is in the center. I'm going to take a few pins here. Actually, I think I'm just going to use some clips and clip along this edge. And I'm gonna do that on both ends. And remember that we are matching up the raw edges, not the folded edges where our casing is. And now we're gonna head back over to the sewing machine and we're gonna stitch again right along our piping to add our accent fabric. Now here we are back at the sewing machine and we still have our zipper foot on with our needle as far over to the left as we can get it to uh, meet up with the piping. And we're gonna stitch along that piping. Now we can see that we have our piping and our outer fabric and our accent fabric nice and neatly stitched 
so that it looks nice and professional. And we're gonna repeat this for the other side. Now we have both of our both sides of our piping done and now let's go over and finish up our project. Now we've added our piping to our project. I'm going to clip off the excess piping. And now I'm going to place our bolster cover right sides together. And I'm just going to clip our main fabric together. And we're going to head back over to the sewing machine and we're just going to stitch a straight line from the seam of our piping to the other seam of our piping because we're only going to stitch our main fabric piece. We're not going to stitch closed our casing because we need that to put our ribbon in. So let me head over and just stitch a straight line across our bolster cover, and I'm just going to use a one quarter inch seam allowance for this, um, just along our outer fabric only. Okay, so now we have finished our cover. We're going to turn this right sides out, and we can see that we have our cover all stitched together with our piping. I probably should have used a white piping or some other contrasting color, but um, this is what I had on hand, so I used the blue. Now we're going to take our satin ribbon, and I'm just going to insert a pin into the end of our satin ribbon, and we're going to insert it into our casing and go all the way around. Now repeat this for the other side. Now let's just add our bolster cup or bolster pillow and we should be finished with this project.
There we go. And I think that four inches looks a lot better than the six inches that I had used in the prototype. For the ends of our pillow, let's just tie this up. And we are done with a nice beginner bolster pillow with a little bit of piping. Perfect. So that's all we have for our project today. It's a super simple little bolster pillow cover. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a simple, simple project that any beginner sewist can make. And it's a nice way to begin learning how to use piping. Um, you could use a larger piping, a more of a home decorator weight piping if you like. You can make your own. Uh, also, I've used pre-manufactured, pre-made piping for my project today. But um, that's all there is to this project. So I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, ding that bell for notifications, and head over to the website at www.soverycrafty.com for loads more sewing and crafting tutorials that you won't find here at the YouTube channel. And give those a try as well. And hopefully one of these days all those projects will be here on the YouTube channel so that you can follow along with the video. So that's it for today. I will see you all next time. Bye!